Welcome, guys, to the finale of the originals. Today we'll be watching episode 13 of season 5, When the Saints Go Marching In. I can't say how grateful I am for all of you to have seen every single episode, if you all did, from season 1 up until now. It's been an amazing ride, an amazing journey, and I have loved every single moment of this. And... I am going to be in complete shatter mode when I, I, I'm already tearing up. Oh, because without you guys, this like, you know, in terms of the channel and everything, it's, it, it, it's just, I cannot thank you enough for building my confidence, my motivation to continue doing these episodes. So, and to end another amazing show on this wonderful note, I am truly blessed to have been able to share it with you, all of you. And I am deeply saddened to see that the show has ended and I've reached the end and I am not, I don't know what I'm going to do without this show now that it's ended because I have enjoyed the Michelson family and their trail of horror and stories that they bring along with them to New Orleans. I have fallen in love with the city of New Orleans, even if I've personally not been there, but you know, just the music, the jazz, everything. I just, I have fallen in love with the characters there were like certain moments where it was just so much that you know you'd want to you you'd you'd side with the bad guys because they you see it from their point of view which is the michelson's point of view but then you see that there is always two sides to every coin and you know you would always tend to side with them because of how they are always and forever family and i'm not ashamed to say that no matter what they do i'm always on their side I will. I don't know what I would say to, like, say, naive season two, uh, Aishwarya in TVD when we saw Klaus emerge from the closet for the very first time. I would have never known at that time that I would have fallen in love with these characters so deeply. And I remember one thing that really got. <laughs> really that was in my mind i think that was one of the episodes with rose um of tvd where i think i we got introduced to elijah and i remember that episode very well where elena was like she he could not believe that elena was a human doppelganger and he was looking for the moonstone and whatnot and i think i called elijah an idiot <laughs> i just i went i am not sure if i called him and indeed in that episode or further on but what no matter what I definitely must have had my fair share of insults for the Michelsons in my own way but never in my wildest dreams did I actually imagine fall in love with them they even if it's a fictional show I I think the importance of family has been brought up a ton of times in this in this show and I think everyone needs to learn a little bit of that and the value of you know kindness love and naturally not the violence aspect of it but being there for each other for your loved ones so i hope everyone is inspired with that when they are with their families and you know never to forget to say that you love the person that you love most you know just to say that you're always there for them and right let's watch this finale and be with the michaelsons one last time i will be a bloody mess by the end. I may not be able to finish off an outro and it may end abruptly. So again, in advance, I apologize. But 
it's going to be very hard for me and I can already tell that it's going to have a toll on me so I'm not literally taking it like in that aspect but it's just the fact that in terms of the channel and in terms of what it means to me I definitely will take it personally in that regard and naturally because of the show end I oh it will be very hard for me so let's go on a tear-jerking journey one last time but yeah let's finish off the always and forever on a great note don't you dare walk away Elijah you shouldn't be here for this and let's talk there's nothing left to say your death is not the answer death death what are you talking about but you told me that they put it into something safe and instead you used my first transition to trick me so what happens? You just kill yourself and the magic goes away? We'll find another way. We both know that's not gonna happen. Klaus. Sorry. Klaus! You made my decision. Klaus! Oh, thank God, Hope. This energy feeds on anger and our brother, as we know, has enough to set the world on fire. How many times are we going to play this game? Right, Calamity and Doom approach their brother and then all of a sudden a trapdoor appears and poof, he escapes. Cool. What if he figures out a way to end it all? I don't think he would notice or care that I wasn't there to witness it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going home. Wow, you're selfish, Cole. Energy will feed off of that strength. He'll quickly go mad and it won't be long before he's unrecognizable and impossibly dangerous to all of us. Okay, well, how long does that take? Hours. All right, then we're gonna have to pull the darkness out of him. Divide it up again. And then we end up where we started, with the family scattered to the corners of the world until something calls them back. I need you to hear me on this hope. There's not enough magic in the world to slow this down. Put down by your own daughter. You are a waste. And yet another stain on my legacy. Shut your damn mouth. Don't, Klaus. He's just trying to bait you. On your feet, son! Don't call him son! Find your daughter! And show her how we go without discipline in this family! Don't talk about my daughter. Kill your daughter. It's the only way to make it right. Fight it, Klaus! It's your class. You need to get out of here. Run. Just run. Yes, Klaus. Good one. No. Not a chance in hell. It's Mardi Gras out there. The streets will be packed to the rafters. Well, he'll be the one foaming at the mouth and ranting. Yeah, exactly, which is why I don't think it's such a good idea for you to be out there. It's better than being fatherless. It's the voices, the rain. He's in his mess because he's trying to save me, just like always. Look, you put him down, he got back up. You put him down again, the same thing's gonna happen. So what? You guys are always saying that I need someone to take care of me. Well, who's gonna take care of me if he goes? Uncle Elijah? You? No, of course not. Because you have your own never-ending life to live. So Marcel, just go and let me have my last moments with my father. I should have taken the power when I had the chance. I'll look for a spell to ease his pain. But first, we have to find him. This isn't your fault, Elijah. All I have ever wanted was to silence my brother's shame and despair. If Nicholas destroys himself in a rampage of torment and bloodshed, we will... He can't die like this. Kill her. Do it, boy. Kill her, your daughter. I know your heart, Chris. You're so much better than this. <laughs> Once told me of a cycling spell and I thought I could use it to offload some of the darkness onto someone else you know it's, it's temporary we thought it could clear Klaus's mind enough so that he might enjoy his last moments I need a clean sleep I'm leaving New Orleans for how long for good Greta after a lot of talk we decided to start a family we wanted someone who we really cared about and respected to be the father of our child you're lucky i didn't turn you into the world's blondest roadkill and you're lucky i didn't crush your car like a toy you selfish prat <laughs> our brother needs us and you scamper off like a rodent oh you'll want to talk shouldn't you be planning your next epic jilt of dear marcel no that man has daggered us more times than could be counted 
So if this is Niklaus's way of finally biting the big one, we should be celebrating. For once in his narcissistic life, he's doing something for the rest of us. If we turn our backs on him now, then we are no better than the monster he's been to us. I never said I was better. You really don't care? I don't. And you are even less of a man than I thought you were. So true. Go back to the woman that you love. Just because you're leaving over. It's a good power. What have you done? What I've always done. It followed you into the fire. Afraid, gentlemen, some of the dark energy in the me it will last for long as you clear your mind. But me, Klaus, if indeed this is to me, the end. You owe it to your family, to your daughter, to say goodbye. You have to let me do this my way. Alone. No goodbyes. I could stop you. You could try this last time. Let me be. in the world surrounded by food and all i can think about is how much i want to show to you i am afraid because i've been here before i've been right there on the verge of starting something new for myself and it never works out for me and you can't tell me that you're not afraid this child will be different a kid with a pack and a coven who can maybe see the world with more compassion and understanding Freya, sometimes family means telling someone whom you love no i've hurt too many people and that is a curse that I refuse to pass on to another generation. I'm sorry. No, you have to choose somebody else. My heart is breaking. Because despite everything, they're family. And you love them. And so do I. Happiness is a choice. Say goodbye to your daughter, Klaus. Give her real closure. Closure is a myth. Look, what you're doing is noble, Klaus. But if you don't say goodbye, you'll haunt her. I don't know how to say goodbye. One of you stands, walks to the door, but doesn't turn back. Even if their heart aches for just one more look. I'll never forget you. <laughs> Do you understand you've accomplished in 15 years what I could in a thousand? This isn't abandonment. Right. A father protecting his daughter, I'd say that's exactly right. Elijah was willing to take the curse completely. But what kind of father allows another man to die for his child? The kind that loves her. I love you. Children bury their parents. It happens every day, every hour. It's a truth this family has avoided at a cost. Yeah, well, I just got you back. So why does it have to be today? <sighs> Hope, because you've helped me feel something that I never thought was possible. sneaking out of your room <laughs> i think i was hiding in that crawl space for about 12 hours <clears throat> get drunk and get it in his head that he was going to set the world ablaze with his painting and then he would actually set them on fire <laughs> brother it's never done <laughs> you were right we should honor our brother's sacrifice and if next time is up then i guess i didn't want to miss my chance to pitch and know <laughs> Because he is a tremendous ass. That he is. But he also secretly adores his youngest brother.
I've savoured the joy of tormenting you throughout the years. I must confess, you all mean everything to me. The reason why I've survived as long as I have. But long after I'm gone, you will all come together. Time and time again. And that is why I'm not afraid. We are bound forever to those with whom we share blood. It's not the end of the Michaelsons. Always and forever. Always and forever. Always and forever. I'm gonna make you proud. Can't promise that I won't go through a period where I get irresponsible tattoos and date older. But I'm gonna go back to school and I'll be okay. I love you. More than all the days and nights. Deeper than the oceans and the skies. I have you down. I wish I knew. I never should have got in the way of your happiness, Rebecca. I've asked Caroline to get you the cure. In a handful of decades, when it's time, you can go to Mystic Falls and get it. Then if you no longer wish to be a vampire, it's your choice. It's the life you've always wanted to live. My sister. <laughs> to disappoint you, brother. The stake will be just as effective in its shorter form. I'm aware. So you plan to hold on to a piece as a souvenir? I tend to die by your side. You can do whatever your heart desires. This is my heart's desire. The purpose of my life, my unrelenting desire, has always been your redemption. You forced me to go through all those painful goodbyes and then, then you slipped away without telling a soul. How well do you know the exact? I told you. I was going to follow you from this adventure to whatever lies beyond. You shouldn't give me that blessing. Case for you. And it occurred to me if that madman, Klaus Michelson, can find the courage to sacrifice everything for his family, maybe I can find the courage to deal with the possibility of loss. No more vampires. We're giving the city back. Train leaves in a couple hours, so get your last glimpse of New Orleans. And get the hell out of Dallas. There's a cure in Mystic Falls with my name on it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to lead a human life. And if you're willing to have me for the next hundred years, to watch me grow old and gray, hold my hand as I take my last breath, I would very much like to be your wife. I do.
took me 30 minutes to compose myself. I finished watching this episode at around 11 p.m. And now it's 11.38. More than 38 minutes. I was like non-stop crying. Like there was no way to even bring out the words like <sighs> guys what an what an epic finale <sighs> I, I just it was perfect oh I don't know how to sum it up. It was more than perfect. It was two brothers. It was really good. It was very good. I loved how the fearsome, loathsome bastard Klaus Michelson turned out to be this guy in the end. And he earned his redemption, man. He earned it. Oh, you know, it's all, it's even more heartbreaking for the fact that Originals is leaving Netflix and I'm not going to even be able to watch it on my own anytime later. That's the problem. Like, I hate that. I'm so done with life. I have never, f I have felt pain. But this was a heartbreak. A genuine heartbreak in any show. The next, this, the, after two heart, like I felt two heartbreaks. One is when friends got over and one is when office got over. The third heartbreak is this. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it really got me. I loved how at the end they just enjoyed one last time, like a dinner with the Michaelsons. That like a family after all that mayhem, they are together as a family. That's it. That's what their life was. That's what we've been trying to see for the past five seasons and we got it I loved the Caroline the, the Caroline coming in this even though I know there were like problems with I, I do not accept the fact that you know with what happened with the actress with Cammy and all of that I love that they brought Caroline and Cammy as well back into the picture as much as possible the, the conversation between Hope and Klaus and then Hope drawing the family portrait and then her mum at the back and she felt that presence. Man. Oh, God. Um... And then Rebecca getting the cure and then she's with she's going to have the life that she always wanted and then Klaus saying be happy sister live the life you've always wanted oh I think my body is 
literally drained out to the and I know I might be I might be like you know using a lot of tissue paper please excuse me on this account one two three four five six six tissues for two episodes I I'm so to any environmentalists out there, I'm gonna recycle this, don't worry. But still, it's almost, it's almost like I'm in disbelief that, that it's ended. My, like I can genuinely feel that I have no more tears left because I've drained it this entire day for this, for this show. I'm done, like, <laughs> I have absolutely no clue what I'm going to do without this show. And I loved that, you know, both, at least in a way, TVD ended with, you know, the brothers ending up together in peace. And I'd like to think that Klaus and Elijah found their way together in peace. You know what? I'm going to make up that I'm not going to cry. Because this was a, it, even though, yes, we lost the Michaelsons, but we know they had an amazing ride. As Elijah said, glorious ride. It's coming back. You know, the bond that you have with your brothers or i personally i don't have any siblings i'm the only child so i don't know what it's like to like have a sibling love but i know what it's like to have a family and be loved and you know they would do anything to protect you and being the only child i was it was like more pampering for me And I felt that through this show, like I felt, even though, yes, of course, eliminating the violence aspect of it, you could see how, the sh like, again, like I said, the show's idea was to bring the family together. And I loved that. That was something I'll always cherish forever. And I just can't believe it's over. Poor hope. But I do wonder what legacies will be. But I don't think I will, like, continue down the legacies path on my own just to, like, watch the show and edit. And I think it's just going to be quite a bit. But definitely I will give it a try to see what it's like for Hope after, you know, after Elijah and Klaus is passing on. And then Freya and... So Freya, Vincent, and um, Killeen. Killeen? I'm s Killeen, right? Her name? Killeen, I hope it is Killeen. I will kill, I will really regret myself. Regret everything if I just say the wrong name, but her wife. They have, they're going to have like a kid now, two witches and one werewolf. Marcel and Rebecca are going to have the life they wanted. Klaus and Elijah, man. I guess this is an epic story end to the Michelson family and how Marcel now is asking all the vampires to leave New Orleans and let it be back in the human city control. That's it.
Oh. You know, I don't even want to have a think about what the show was or the technical aspect of it. I just want to take the fact that this show had, like, I, I don't even want to reflect on the season. You know, it was just more that Klaus has been more of a father than his own father. And that resonated not just in the character, but in their acting and you could feel that. And I truly felt that with every single person they have casted, they all of them did really amazing, specifically that little girl in season four, whatever her name is, the young seven-year-old Hope. I felt that even this girl, like the 14, 15-year-old Hope did really well. Like I felt the presence and, you know, the, the, the how do you say it? The bond between her and Klaus and her and Kaylee and but yeah um Klaus tries to fight off the darkness inside him as his loved ones grapple with how to support their complicated brother friend and father I just read the synopsis of what this episode was I thought I was going to be, while talking even remotely about it, I will be like in, like done tears. But like I said, I'm drained out, so I have no tears in my body anymore. But this has been amazing. I have enjoyed every single moment of this show. And to be honest, I don't even have I, I don't know how to rate any of these seasons because every season has been phenomenal. I never, ever thought that I would ever love Klaus Michelson the way he was in TVD too. I went, I remember when he killed Jenna, I just, I remember feeling that pain for Jenna and crying my heart out and I was like, let's kill Klaus and... I was like, how did Elijah choose her, his brother over helping us out, his word of his honor and whatnot. I was like, so much for that. Until you experience this show, you'll never know why he did what he did then. And I'm taking it way too literally. It's just like characters. But in terms of family, as I keep on saying, that was, you know, the, the relation. It started from that time till now, like, How is New Orleans, New Orleans without the Michaelsons, like without Klaus and Elijah? I don't know. If I, as I said, if there's any heartbreak that I've experienced, this is the third heartbreak I felt. Like I could literally feel agony throughout. And I was actually scared about how I will react to this episode and rightfully so because it took me a good solid half an hour to come back to talking mode but yeah um in terms of rating the seasons I would still say like I cannot compare season five to seasons one to four only because season five had a completely different dynamic and in that regard I would say season five is completely separate but if I were to talk about like you know the uh, character villains and whatnot till date season two Dahlia Aunt Dahlia was my favorite villainess in this planet she was amazing Claudia Black till date was my favorite role of this show and then came um season three with uh marcel being the beast wow and then came season one with marcel again being um well not a beast but being the vampire that he was and trying to set order to new orleans and then you know like hope 
Hope's birth and all of that. Like that was insane. And then season four. Season four was amazing. Don't get me wrong. Season four was fantastic. It's just, I don't know why, but I felt like the season four finale to me compared to these three was not as great as I as I wanted it to be. Um, but again, season five is completely not even in this list. It was just between the four seasons and season five on its own. Brilliant season. Definitely there were like times where I just felt pissed off with how dumb some characters were but that's just the way I feel it should have like it was meant to be and to continue on from that to understand the story as to how say like Elijah was this person after he was compelled and we had to see that side of his life and what he was um, and what he wanted to do and how he coped up with his life with Antoinette and you know basically the extremist group and from there we had to see how he comes back to his family there was a time where when Elijah came back to re, uh, like you know to his family they didn't trust him at least Klaus didn't trust him but then he earned his trust again and they died together like I feel like all of that was necessary even though there were certain like elements that just weren't up to the mark but again i i'm not gonna let that ruin a wonderful season this show and this season taught me a lot about love and family no kidding like the three shows that really taught about love and family to me that i have watched completely is friends the office and now the originals like i have such utmost respect for these actors and actresses damn i'm gonna cry more so i'm trying to hold back um i wonder what they're doing now like what their careers are like i w i want to see more of their work and i want to see what they like are they planning to do a I don't know, like a reunion or something like that. It would be so great to see what it's like. But I'm not sure when the show ended. So I think 2018, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I think that was when I started my master's also. So it was an end for their journey ended and my journey started with my master's. So, so I'm, I'm drifting off topic because I just cannot. I don't even know what to say anymore. This has been a fantastic, fantastic season, season end. Uh, in terms of villains, I don't think that even matter. Of course they did because Haley's dead, but I feel by, um, like, weirdly enough, by Haley being dead, there was true meaning to Klaus's character and the rest of their characters. Like, it heightened everyone's family instincts and it brought out the best in every single character unfortunately like it if you understand what i'm saying like Haley's death weirdly enough not just brought the always and forever back on like even though they all left and they came back but it also showed the level of sacrifice that klaus went through along with Elijah to have a uh, to have the, the the to provide the life that you know their their family need to have so that they can pass on like they've passed on the torch to them so that they can take care and oh the ending it's been a glorious ride, Nick, and the greatest honor. And ooh. damn. Anyhow, I will keep ranting on and on, making absolutely no sense. Mind you, it's eleven fifty-eight p.m. here, so I will see you guys in the next 
whatever show brings on. I am so happy to have done this show. Done this show. To have watched this show. Thank you so much to every single one of you for being on this journey. Seriously, you are literally like my family. And I hope you guys also stay always and forever with me on future journeys, wherever it takes me. And I appreciate every single one of your support. It means the world. And I cannot thank you enough if you've been there since season one. It's been tremendous as as uh, Elijah said a glorious ride the originals I will miss this show so much but on to bigger and better things and I am so glad I learned a lot about family and the importance of family and love from this show so thank you guys once again for a great great finale I enjoyed it truly Love you all so much. Please accept my sincere apologies for me ranting on. If you want to skip, just fucking skip. Don't even bother. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> but still, I really am very sorry for the constant ramble. I will make no sense. But this is just me opening my heart out at 12 a.m. It's 12, 30th August. So to anyone who have their birthdays following, falling on the 30th of August, well happy birthday to you um and yeah this is me signing off one last time ciao everyone <laughs>